Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I am here in Bangkok, Thailand, and today I'd like to speak with you about a piece of software that I just stumbled across. It is called Exodus. Now, this piece of software actually got me quite excited because the user interface is so nice and streamlined and polished uh, that it makes it so simple to use. And I really think that pieces of software like this are what is going to replace banking in the coming years. So I'm going to take an overview of what this looks like and why I think certain things are special as compared to other apps that are out there right now. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are on the main page of your Exodus app. Now, when I first saw this, I got very excited because I realized this may be where the future of finance is going. Instead of using a bank account, you could easily have a piece of software like this that allows you to lay out all of your digital and online assets right in front of you and convert them live from a single application. Down here, you can see a little layout of where all my assets are allocated. You can see I've got Bitcoin, Dash, Ethereum. I've gone in beforehand and I've taken some of my Bitcoin and split it up just so you can see what it looks like. Up in the left hand corner I've got a US dollar value or I can click and see the Bitcoin value for everything I have. Now I am a Canadian citizen so I would love in the future to see the availability of something like Canadian dollars or other national currencies to plunk in here instead of US dollars. They're also going to be adding other assets. Uh, I believe Mon Monero and a few others are on the way. Um, so I'm excited to see that. So if we go over here to the wallet function, you can see there's Bitcoin, there's Dash, there's Dogecoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. Uh, I'll go over to the Ethereum wallet here. And this just has the basic functionalities of uh, a wallet you would have on your phone. If you hit send, you can paste in a wallet address here, or you can click over here on the left uh, so that your webcam can scan a QR code. Down below, you've got your amount. You can manually type that in, or if you want to send everything, you can hit this little coin button here and it will load up all of, uh, in this case, the Ethereum that I have. Now, you can also see down below here any past transactions, all the details will be listed there. Now, let's go into the exchange function, and this is the part that I really like. You can easily convert between your assets natively in the app. So, here it's set up to do Bitcoin into Ethereum, but um, let's try something a little bit different. So, I could click on Dash here, and I'd be switching my Dash for Ethereum. All right, or I can swap it, be, uh, be going Ethereum to Dash back and forth by hitting that middle button there. So you can see I've got about 578 worth of Dash. I can manually type in the US dollar or Dash amount that I'd like to convert. Uh, what I would like to see here is the same maximum function uh, that was in the send function of the wallet. So hopefully we'll see that in the future here. Um, you can also see down below the spread, which means the fees that you're going to be paying for this exchange here. So what I'm actually going to do, I think I'm going to take $5 worth of Ethereum and I'm going to exchange it. So I just type in $5, I hit the exchange button. And this is integrated with Shapeshift, which I've featured in a couple videos in the past couple weeks here. So the first thing you're going to see, step one, sending. So I'm sending Ethereum or Ether to Shapeshift and I will be receiving Dash. Once that's gone through, it will move on to step two. Uh, this is the step that tends to take the longest. It's never super long, maybe maybe 10 minutes and it is safe to go into other parts of the wallet or even shut the wallet down while this process is going on so don't worry about going and doing other things while you're shifting uh, your coins around I'm gonna skip ahead in the video to the point where we have moved on to step three all right there we go exchange complete step three so you can just hit close down below and if you go back up to your portfolio, you can see that my assets have been reallocated. Now I've got 31% Dash, about almost $11 there. And it's nicely represented with this little chart. 
So let's check up the backup. Now I've already done my backup here, but it's it's a few simple steps where you set up a secure password, you write down your 12 word phrase, all things that I've mentioned in other videos. Settings. This is just a list of skins and different looks that you can do to kind of customize your wallet here. I like this Aurora one down, down at the bottom, um, but there's lots to choose from and more coming. Now if we cl uh, click on help here, you can see there is contact info, you can chat in Slack, you can email, watch the help videos, which I highly recommend, and there's some FAQs. If you click on watch help videos, this will take you right to the Vimeo page of Exodus. I would highly recommend watching these videos. They explain in further detail exactly how the setup works. So please click over and check that out. And that is it. Again, I really believe this is where the future of finance is going, being able to easily convert all of your assets online in real time without an intermediary needed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Drop a tip at the QR code at the end, or if you can't do that, please share this video. I will see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.